What's up Team Tech Avengers? If you're looking for a smart solution for your shades or your blinds, you might want to see this review on the Soma Smart Shade System for your evolving smart home. Now Soma, a company based out of Estonia, beautiful place by the way, I highly recommend visiting if you're in Europe, but nonetheless, this company has been making waves in the smart home game. And a bit of background as to how I came across them, they did not reach out to me. In fact, I was the one that reached out to them after doing a bit of research on making my existing shades smart. This company mainly stood out because of the ability to connect with Apple HomeKit, a feature that is far and few between when it comes to most companies that don't want to spend the extra money to license their product for Apple's ecosystem. Although it's not officially a HomeKit certified device, it works really well and they've made the effort to implement it in the Apple ecosystem. So I'm giving them a point for that. I'll get into that later, and just so you know, it works with Google and Alexa also. I'll cover my Google ecosystem of devices as well later in the review. Anyway, I reached out to Soma and said, hey, your smart shade solution looks pretty cool. Just wondering if you could send me one of your units to kind of test and give my honest feedback on it. And they happily obliged. So if there is something that needs improvement with this, I'll definitely make it known here. There are two parts to this review. I'm going to cover the smart shades themselves along with the app experience. And then I'm going to cover the Soma Connect, which is sold separately and is used to connect your shades to Google, Apple or Alexa for voice control. Now as a company that is trying to make some headway in the smart home game, you need to focus your resources on the areas that matter. For Soma, packaging isn't the prettiest out there, but it gives you the necessary info on the box, such as the contents as well as the QR code to get started. Scanning the QR code, you'll be brought to the setup tutorial on YouTube, which is very well laid out and easy to follow. The only issue I had here though, was getting the Soma to snag the chain and also release the chain if I made a mistake. The tutorial really didn't cover this, but lucky for you, I will. After a bit of experimenting, I figured you need to tilt the motor at a 90 degree angle to the chain. This will automatically unravel the chain and release it from the device so you can try linking it again. Now that you know how to do that, trust me, it will still take a little bit of practice to get the chain linked just right but you'll get there. One thing I wish I knew before setting this up in the app was the fact that regardless if the arrow points up or down and your shades end up going the opposite direction upon linking, the app will give you the option later on to change the direction. I thought I had to get it right from the get-go and make it go up and down with the arrows. That is not the case. As long as they're not crossed, you can change the direction of the buttons later on. It was surprisingly easy to set up the motor with the blinds and once you attach it to the wall using the included 3M mounting tape, you're good to go. You can also mount Soma using two screws, which are not included, something the company should consider doing as this probably won't even cost that much and it's nice to have that option without having to go searching for your own parts. I used the 3M tape and it was quite strong, so I have no worries about that coming off. But that in itself is a worry of mine when the time comes to take it off the wall. Will it rip my paint? I have no idea, but let's cross that bridge when we get there. I just want to rewind back a bit in regards to the strength of this motor. I initially tried it on my bedroom window shades. Mind you, this is one big piece to cover about nine feet of window, so it was just really, really heavy. I decided to use it on my office shades that's much smaller, roughly five and a half feet, and it works perfectly. It struggled with my bedroom shades, but what can you do in that situation, right? I wish I could give you the actual weight of that window shade in my bedroom, but let me tell you, even I have trouble opening it some mornings because of the weight. Now, when I initially got this device, the solar panel was actually separated from the plastic backing, which I thought was intentional. Turns out it's not. The item was broken in transit. Why do I bring this up? Well. I want you to know what my experience was with Soma customer service. That is also very important. I reached out to them to let them know that the item was defective and they responded right away by sending a replacement within a week. That's something to also consider when looking for a company that is reliable and stands behind their product. Installing the solar panel was really easy. All I had to do was peel off the double-sided tape and mount it to my window. Once I plugged it into the motor, it was good to go. You can even see that it's charging within the app. This was a smart move by the company since you don't really need to worry about installing this close to an outlet. Speaking of the app, 
it's actually quite straightforward to set up. After downloading and connecting to the device, you are directed to move your shades to the middle position. Next, you'll need to get the chain into the pulley system. The app will guide you through that setup and allow you to move it up and down in order to grab it. As I mentioned earlier, this can be changed, so don't worry if your blinds go in the opposite direction of the arrows. If your chain doesn't fit, there is an included chain and adapter for other chain types. Be sure to check their site if you aren't sure about your blinds. And you can always reach out to their customer service because again, they're fantastic. Okay, so we got the blinds moving with the motor. Now we just have to mount the device. We can either use the included mounting tape or screw it in using the not included screws. Might have to make a trip to the hardware store for that one. Once it's mounted, your last step will be to automatically calibrate the device and let you choose which direction the arrow is pointing and what to map it to. That's it, you're all set to go. Give it a name and you'll be brought into the simple and intuitive UI that shows a generic picture of a window where you can slide the shades up and down according to how much you want to open and close them. You can also adjust the exact position you want your blinds to be at when fully opened and fully closed. You can choose that yourself. Because my desk sits so close to the window, I adjusted it to be fully closed when it reaches the desk itself. You can change this in the settings along with some other options such as grouping shades, slippage compensation, and also viewing the battery levels and some basic device info. The identify button will also make the designated motor ring in case you have multiple units around the house and don't know which is which. I actually received two smart shade motors so that I could test out the grouping feature. It works really well and this is great if you have shades in the same room or even different rooms. You can control the shades as a group or individually. You also have the ability to set your automation so all the blinds in the house open or close on command. You can set triggers within the app to open or close at a certain time and day, as well as toggle the option to set morning mode. This will make the motor move much slower and quieter so that your sleep is not disturbed. The second part of this review is covering the Soma Connect. I set up some triggers initially within the app, but then I removed them because all my automation is going to be handled through Siri or HomeKit and I wanna see how reliable this really is. The Soma Connect is essentially a Raspberry Pi computer. For those of you who don't know what Raspberry Pi is, it's essentially a low powered computer that runs open source software and can be used for several different types of applications. One such application is to run a server for your smart blinds. So Apple, Alexa, and Google can relay voice commands to it without interruption. I should also mention it works with IFTTT and SmartThings, so you have quite a bit of options here. Connecting to Siri and Google was a bit of a challenge for me initially, just because after I plugged it in, I didn't really know where to go from there. And this could probably be a issue that most people will face as well too. So I'm gonna cover this in my review. Now that issue was quickly alleviated by scanning the QR code on the box. It takes you into a bunch of setup instructions to guide you through the quick and painless process. I'm used to just having some instructions in the box to tell me how to set things up, but I completely forgot that you have to scan the QR code in order to kind of complete this process. The first step is using the Soma app to add your Soma Connect to the network. You can do this wirelessly or through Ethernet. I set mine up with Wi-Fi and had no issues at all. It's not the prettiest UI, I'm just going to get that out of the way, but it works. Pairing to Google Home was quite easy since you essentially just link Soma like any other smart device in your Google Home app. It's a little unorthodox since you use something called a Connect ID, not a standard login. The Connect ID will pair it with Soma Connect quite easily. Now the thing you should know about Soma Connect, if you don't want to spend the extra $79 for the unit itself, you can actually install the image on your own Raspberry Pi unit for free. If you're a power user, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you're not, just buy the Soma Connect. It'll save you a lot of trouble. In regards to HomeKit, that's as far as we go within the Soma app. Because you have the Soma connected to your network, we can add this to the Apple Home app. In Apple Home, click on Add Accessory. You're gonna wanna click on More Options and this should see the Soma Connect available for pairing. When Apple Home prompts you to add an uncertified accessory, just tap add anyway. What you'll want is to use the setup guide online as that has the HomeKit number that you need to input in order for Apple to recognize the device. You'll just name the bridge and voila, 
you've added that accessory as a smart shade. Now you can do some pretty awesome stuff like tell Siri and Google to open or close your blinds. I don't have Alexa to test this, but I'm sure the process is just as easy and reliable. And yes, I mean absolutely reliable. The app as well as Google and Siri has opened and closed my blinds on command without any issues so far. I have to say, I'm so glad I did my research when it came to smart blinds and I reached out to the right company. My shades automatically close when I run my Siri goodnight routine and then automatically open at 2 p.m. when the sun's not glaring through my windows. It's saved me a lot of effort just getting up and pulling the blinds manually. I have to do it all the time and I gotta tell you, this is a lifesaver. If you're looking for smart shades, this is the company you need to definitely explore. Hey, I appreciate you watching this video and just trying to better your understanding of technology and smart home automation in general, how it can make your life so much easier. Again, this is an open conversation. I can learn so much from you as much as you can learn from me. So stick around, I'll be coming out with more videos like this in the near future. Like always, I'm Jared the Tech Avenger. Don't forget, when it comes to tech, the Tech Avengers are there. We got your back.